it is officially wedding week, which is great news. However, the news that is making me a little nervous is that I just found out my custom suit we had made for the wedding is still not complete, which is supposed to be completed by now. And we leave in two days from the time I'm recording this clip right now for Michigan for a wedding. So it's crunch time and I'm getting a little nervous. It's like one of those dreams where you wake up and you forgot you had class or you know you wake up and you realize, oh, I forgot to get my suit ready for this wedding. But we're gonna dive into this video. I wanna let you guys know that this one is sponsored by Simply Safe. So thanks guys for sponsoring the video. <laughs> I will tell you, one of the best investments we've ever made that I highly recommend is a homemade pasta maker. We have one by Phillips and it makes such, such good homemade pasta. And then, I mean, it's super simple too. It's just flour, water, and egg. And then when you cook it in hot water, it literally only takes like two to three minutes. Homemade pasta makers for the win, 100%. So right now we are zesting, zesting some lemons. Okay, so for tonight, we're having a repeat meal that we had, what, I think last week? It was last week, it was delicious. I have a new cookbook. It's called Just Feed Me by Jesse James Decker, and it is, it's like soul food, just like really, really good freaking food. And we tried this lemon basil pasta last week with our homemade pasta maker, which once you have a homemade pasta maker, you're never in a buy box pasta again. And it's just the most like light and like refreshing because the lemon and the basil, just an amazing dish. So we're pairing that with some chicken thighs and some salads and that's gonna be Sunday dinner. And then here is what the final outcome ends up looking like. We have the lemon basil pasta with some Parmesan cheese on top, the chicken thighs which were rolled in Parmesan breadcrumbs, garlic powder, and salt, and throw in the Traeger for a little bit. So we're gonna dig into this. Excellent way to kick off a Monday morning with an eight mile run. So 8.01 miles at an 8.15 minute per mile pace in one hour, six minutes and seven seconds. My average heart rate was 144. Like I talked about in my last video, I'm aiming for a heart rate of 140 and 150 in between there for my easy, uh, long, slow runs during the week. Monitored by the Garmin chest heart rate monitor, which is much more accurate than your you know, Garmin wristwatch. So, Monday morning, eight miles, beautiful morning. Love it. One of the things that I always look forward to towards the end of wrapping up an early morning run is my English muffin with Kerrygold's butter and blackberry jam. Every morning. The flavors just go together so well. All right, it is Monday, which means orders are going out from the weekend. So we have USPS orders, we have FedEx orders that we picked up later this afternoon. We have officially moved all fulfillment operations over from Suite 360 to Suite 370 using our new fulfillment operation system. 
and our conveyor belt. So our, our systems are more automated, less manual, which means we can pump out more orders on a daily basis, which also means we're getting that much closer to Black Friday. Black Friday this year will be our only sale of 2020, which is the first year we've ever done that. We're projecting between 40 and 50,000 orders to come in during that time. That's what we're projecting based off of, of trends from previous years and then our growth over the past year. So we're trying to lock in our systems and our operations in preparation for that. It's gonna be wild. So this is the sponsored portion of this video. And you remember how I said you would never see my old house again, which I'm currently standing in right now? Well, we ended up putting the house on the market. Then we took the house off the market because my dad, Mike Bear, decided he was gonna move from Pennsylvania to Texas. Me and my brother have been trying to convince him to move down here for the past year, and he finally decided. So my dad is going to be living in our old house, which I'm super, super, super excited for. Now I have worked with Simply Safe before, and I love their service. Simply Safe is 24/7 home security monitoring for less than 50 cents per day and no contracts. So Simply Safe sent me a system a few months ago. I wanted to buy my dad a system too, so I bought him the Foundation series. I will show you what comes with that. It was about $250 with tax, but I'll show you what comes in that series. Now within the foundation system, you get the sign for the front of your home with some stickers. You get the home base. Now the home base is what signals authorities if your alarm gets sent off. Your home base connects to your keypad, which is how you arm and disarm your system. Uh, it also comes with a front door sensor this is a motion sensor and then there was a deal going on so mine also came with a free camera this is the foundation system now setup is super simple and can be done in less than 30 minutes step one plug in your base station your base station is everything well next step is that you're going to pair everything to your home station so your keypad you're gonna set a secret passcode to activate, deactivate your system, pair uh, your door sensor, pair your motion detector, and if you have one, your camera. So if you're in the need or you want fast, quick, reliable, no contract home security, Simply Safe is the way to go. Like I said, very simple to set up, less than 50 cents per day, 24 seven monitoring. You can shop the link on the screen right here or in the description It is the first link. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. All right, what we're doing right now is I'm doing a Zwift race. It's just a 10 minute race, but about two days ago, I opened it up on Instagram. I said, hey, I'm doing this race. It is Monday morning, 10, 15 a.m. and uh, we have over 200 people signed up. So we have, I've been warming up for like five minutes now. We got five minutes left to warm up. Then we're gonna start the race. Like I said, it's a 10 minute race. I have a one hour and 15 minute ride. So this will just be the first part of my ride for the day, but about to get into it. High school, in high school I went through this phase where my pits would sweat like no other. So I would wear a white undershirt under my normal shirt to school and I would bring an extra on with me. So midway through the day in high school, I would switch out my white undershirt because so my pits sweated so bad. I'm just a heavy sweater. Excited to see Nick Bear's debut. That's what someone said in the comments. Nick Bear's Debut Zwift race, baby. I'm full set in this 10 minutes. Ah. I 
here you have to get out in front of the path early on. Natasha said, get out in front as early as possible. Hold that lead. We're pushing over 500 watts right now. One mile left. We've got one mile left. I'm in 75th place out of 192. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, it was a 4.1 mile race. I was in category C, the 22nd out of my category. There were 192 racers. It looked like I crossed the finish line at like 75, 76 out of 192. And then, like I said, 22 out of my category. That was fun though. That was my first Zwift race. That was a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. The Zwift music is really on freaking point. Uh, two, three, four. Let's go now. And two. And three. And four. Got a 40 minute ride now, just kind of cool down. All right, ride complete. So we built this HQ to facilitate everything we need to be able to do in a day. That's create content, fulfill orders, train. Essentially I can work, eat, train, work, eat, train, out of this facility. So like, you know, I show up here, work, get a training session in, walk next door, which I'm about to do, grab my lunch, get back to work. Unfortunately, there's no showers here, so that doesn't happen throughout the day. And just a few hours later, the number of orders that have been packed, fulfilled, and ready to ship from this is a normal weekend of orders uh, going out on a Monday. All of these. These guys in the warehouse and order fulfillment over there, just killing it. Killing it. So I spend a lot of time in this chair at this desk every single day. Like, this is my primary workstation that I'm sitting at for hours every single day. And what the team and I have found over time is that we slowly started having problems with, with our backs and sitting and just like getting tight and, and discomfort. So one of the first changes we made was we all got these adjustable standing desks. So we can adjust them, they're by uplift, you can raise them, you can lower them, you can stand, you can sit. And we made that change first. And then, most recently, we changed down our chairs to the Hag, I think it's called a Hag Capisco. These things are game changing. You can sit in all different kinds of directions and ways. Traditionally, I just sit in a chair like this. You can also sit in it front ways like this. We love these chairs. We all got one for the office. Let me show you what we're working with here. We are massive proponents of investing in your health. 
which is one of the reasons we upgraded these desks and these chairs. Uh, I actually found out about these just by searching best ergonomical chair on the market. And what popped up was these things. Now I will tell you, they were not cheap, but so far, no one has had any more back pain from sitting all day at their workstation. So, we enjoy them. It is 4.30 p.m., you know what that means. Package has been picked up, work's done for the day. For now, work will pick up later. And now everyone that's in this building, the HQ gets after it. We got people running, we got people lifting. It's time to train. So I just finished up another run this morning, seven miles at a 750 minute per mile pace. Average heart rate was 141. I wanna talk about heart rate really quickly. Um, heart rate is affected by a lot of different things. That can be caffeine intake, that can be the sleep you had the night before, that can be the weather. Like for example, yesterday's weather in Texas was in the morning pretty humid. So I ran eight miles in an 815 minute per mile pace and my average heart rate was 144. So because of the humidity, because of the heat, my heart rate was elevated. And my heart rate, personally, is, is very affected by weather, heat, and humidity. Today, it was a whole lot cooler. Like, it was, it was beautiful, and I was a little chilly this morning. So I was able to run 25 seconds faster per mile with a lower heart rate. So, heart rate training is powerful. And like I said before, if you're gonna measure heart rate, Use a chest rate monitor to be super accurate. Your watch, it'll do the job, but not nearly as accurate. So like I said in the beginning of this video, getting a little nervous for my suit for this wedding. Um, today is Tuesday, we leave tomorrow for Michigan, which is where we're getting married, that's where Steph's from, and that's where her family's at. And my suit, at the latest, was supposed to be ready to yesterday. It's, good. it's a custom cut suit that I got done for this wedding. And um, it is apparently still in production. So today I have to find a solution for what I'm wearing for this wedding, my wedding, whether that is somehow we're getting this suit coming out of production or I'm just going and getting one off the rack and hopefully get it tailored by tomorrow. We're in crunch time. I'm stressing out about it. Okay, suit update. We got a suit. It, uh, it's getting tailored as we speak. I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow on the way to the airport. Not ideal, however, it's gonna work out. Uh, the suit that we ordered, I think it's uh, cut and manufactured as we speak. So, we got a close colorway, uh, close fit, but it all ended up working out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna head to Michigan, get married, and I'll see you guys when I return.